I'm going to show you how sound pressure level varies with the distance between the sound source and you. So here's a very useful rule of thumb. When you have a free field sound propagation, that is when there is no reflective surfaces nearby, it could be for instance a very tall chimney and the sound comes out from the top of that chimney. There is nothing that the sound can be re reflected against. Then you have like a perfect example of free field sound propagation. Now what this means is that every time you double the distance, you get a decrease in sound pressure level of six decibels. So for instance, if I'm standing in like an open plan office and uh, there's quite a lot of absorptive screens and materials often in that kind of environment. So we could probably do a decent approximation of free field in, in that environment. And if I'm talking and it's like 55 decibels on one meter distance from me when I'm talking, then if you move from one meter to two meter, the sound pressure level will drop by six to from 59, 55 to 49. And then you go another doubling of distance from two to four. And then you go from 49 minus 6, 43, and so on and so forth. So next doubling will be 8 meters, and then you get another 6 decibels. Now, you can, you can just compare this with a little game of thought. If you're standing on like a tennis court, for instance, and you're standing really close to the person, and someone is like yelling, <laughs> if you're very close and you move a short distance, you're going to experience, you're going to perceive quite a big shift in sound pressure level as you move closer or farther away from the source when you're kind of close to it. If you're standing on the other side of the tennis court and the person is yelling and you move one meter towards the person, you're not going to perceive probably no difference at all if you go one or two meters back and forth. And that's because you're on the other side of this little diagram that, it, that I show you here. If the distance is 10, 20, 30 meters, you see, one, two meters is very little on, on that distance. But if you're close to the source, it has a huge effect. So, this is, a, this is a really useful rule of thumb if you want to figure out what is the sound pressure level on x meters from my sound source. So, sometimes we measure the sound pressure level close to the source and then we can extrapolate to find out what's it going to be over there by those houses far, far away. And, uh, yeah, 6 decibels every time you double the dis distance. In, in the case of free field propagation, when you have a source that is radiating sound in all directions at once. So, and another really useful rule of thumb is uh, you can always, almost always at least, rock a navy blue jacket. It works with any skin complexion and uh, it's probably the most versatile piece of garment in any man's wardrobe. So, always make sure you have a really good navy blue jacket. Especially it works well with like nature colors like green, brown and blue and a little splash of orange here in this cool little po pocket square. See you later!